I'm gonna be putting the greatest Patriots team of all time up against the greatest Chiefs team of all time. That's right, the likes of Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and Rodney Harrison will be up against Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and even Derek Thomas. We're gonna be putting these two teams through a set of five different challenges, including a mini game challenge, a franchise mode simulation, a wide receiver defensive back challenge, a head to head matchup, and a kick return challenge. The first team to win three challenges will be crowned the greatest football dynasty, according to Madden. All time Patriots team will be led by none other than Tom Brady, who's considered the greatest Patriots quarterback of all time, and most would agree he's the greatest quarterback in NFL history. I think we all remember the Patriots dynasty where Tom Brady really loved using his running backs, so he is reunited with Corey Dillon, Garrett Blount, and Kevin Fall. And you might not recognize this name, but James Devlin is a Patriots all-time fullback, and he played an instrumental part in the run game throughout the Patriots dynasty. As for wide receivers, Tom Brady will be throwing to Randy Moss, Julian Edelman, Wes Welker, and Deion Brand. Although Moss didn't win a Super Bowl with Brady, he is still one of the best receivers Tom played with. And at tight end, you know it's going to be Rob Gronkowski, who is a big reason for all the Patriots' success. And to close out the offense for this team, Matt Light, Logan Mankins, Dan Copen, John Hanna, and Trent Brown will be protecting Tom Brady on the offensive line. A big reason for a lot of the Patriots' success was their defense. And it all starts with Rodney Harrison and Devin McCourty at the safety position. At cornerback, Darrell Rivas will lead the charge. And although he only played with the Patriots for one season, he did play a big role in helping them win Super Bowl 49. Joining him will be Ty Law, Malcolm Butler, Devon Gilmore, and Jonathan Jones. Patriots new head coach Gerard Mayo won his Super Bowl when he was a linebacker for the New England Patriots. And he'll be joined by Teddy Bruschi, Mike Rabel, Willie McGinnis, and Dante Hightower. As for the defensive line, Vince Wilfork and Lawrence Guy will be the big bodies in the middle, with Richard Seymour, Rob Nick and Chandler Jones rounding out the rest of that D-line. Oh, and we can't forget about Adam Vinatieri at kicker and Ryan Allen at punter. As for the all-time Chiefs team, they will be led by Patrick Mahomes, who has won three Super Bowls in the last five seasons. And let me know in the comments if you think Mahomes will be able to pass Tom Brady in Super Bowl wins during his career. And you know he's going to have some solid players to pass to, including Travis Kelsey and Tony Gonzalez at tight end, with Tyreek Hill, Dante Hall, Rasheed Rice, and Nicole Harmon at receiver. Unfortunately, the Chiefs didn't really have too many great wide receivers on their roster over their franchise history, but they did have some solid running backs like Priest Holmes, Jamal Charles, and Isaiah Pacheco, who has been a workhorse for the Chiefs for the past few seasons. Oh, and we can't forget about Christian Okoye at fullback, who also played running back for the Chiefs. As for the offensive line, Eric Fisher, Brian Waters, Creed Humphrey, Will Shields, and Mitchell Schwartz will round out the rest of the Chiefs' all-time offense. A big reason for the Chiefs' success over the past five seasons has been because of Chris Jones on defense. He recently re-signed with the Chiefs for five more years. Joining him on the defensive line will be Buck Buchanan, Jared Allen, and George Karloftis. And moving up to the linebackers, this is where the Chiefs have plenty of talent with Willie Lanier and Nick Bolton at middle linebacker with Derek Thomas, Bobby Bell, and Justin Houston at outside linebacker. As for the all-time Chiefs secondary, Emmett Thomas will lead the cornerback room with Legereus Need, Trent McDuckby, and Kendall Fuller closing out the cornerback room. And finally, at safety, Eric Berry is an all-time great in Chiefs franchise history and Tyron Matthew also returns to play at free safety. As for kicker and punter, they will rock with Harrison Buckner and Tommy Townsend. Let's start with the passing skeleton minigame as their first challenge to see which team can finish with the most points. Starting with Tom Brady and the all-time Patriots team, he was able to connect with Randy Moss on a short drag route before finding Julian Edelman for a short pickup. On the very next attempt, Brady goes right back to Moss, who dribbles his way into the end zone, getting the multiplier up to four. Brady continued to make some really nice passes to his receivers and then connected with Wes Walker underneath for yet another touchdown. With just 30 seconds to go, Brady somehow fits this ball perfectly to Randy Moss who breaks off one tackle and scores a touchdown. Brady was playing lights out and with just under 10 seconds to go, the multiplier was up to 12 and he throws it to Edelman who makes the grab and picks up a few more yards. All-time Patriots scored once again and ended up finishing with 20,009 points which is going to be really tough for the all-time Chiefs to beat. Mahomes and the all-time Chiefs are up next and he starts off by connecting with Rasheed Rice for a solid game before going to Tyreek Hill on a zig route. Mahomes was connecting with his receivers but they were all for short games. He did however find Rasheed Rice in the end zone for their first touchdown. As he continued to find his rhythm, Rasheed Rice really bailed Mahomes out with his diving catch, and the multiplier is now up to eight. Fast forwarding this a little, Mahomes was able to take what the defense was giving him, but just six seconds to go, Mahomes somehow finds Dante Hall in the end zone get the score up to 13,000. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough time and the all-time Chiefs team ended up finishing with 15,325 points, which was not good enough to beat the all-time Patriots score of 20,000. And just like that, the all-time Patriots team have won the first challenge of this competition. Next up, we have the Franchise Challenge. Whichever team makes it the furthest in the season will win this challenge. And after simming the first half of the season, the all-time Chiefs team are currently undefeated with a 7-0 record, while the all-time Patriots team are 5-2, losing to the Eagles and the Bills so far. Although the winner will be decided by which team actually makes it the furthest, including the playoffs, 
having a first round bye helps quite a bit. And after simming to the very end of the regular season, the all-time Chiefs team end up going 15 and 2, while the all-time Patriots finish 13 and 4. All-time Chiefs team end up winning the AFC, earning themselves a first round bye. Patrick Mahomes ended up finishing first in the NFL with just under 4,900 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, and just three interceptions, while Tom Brady wasn't too far behind, throwing for 4,100 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, and one interception. All-time Chiefs team had three receivers with over 1,000 yards. The Patriots just had Moss and Edelman with over 1,000 receiving yards. Derek Thomas had a very good season with Jared Allen and Chris Jones causing havoc on the defensive line. After submitting to the AFC Championship game to see if either of the teams remain, it looks like they are about to go head-to-head. -head. Whoever wins this game will win the franchise challenge. And after advancing to the week, the all-time Chiefs team defeat the Patriots 24 to 17. And with that, the all-time Chiefs team end up winning the franchise simulation challenge, and now the competition is tied at one. Next up is the wide receiver defensive back challenge, where three receivers on both teams go one-on-one -on -one with the team's best corner. Mahomes and Tyreek Hill are up first, and on their very first attempt, Mahomes throws one up to Tyreek Hill, but it gets knocked out by Darrell Revis. On their second attempt, Tyreek was able to catch Revis flat-footed and easily makes the catch to get them on the board. Travis Kelsey is the next receiver up, and unfortunately on his attempt, Mahomes just slightly overthrows the ball, but Revis was there anyway. On their fourth attempt, Mahomes throws a perfect ball to the back of the end zone, but Darrell Revis was able to interfere with Kelsey and he drops it. With just one touchdown so far for the all-time Chiefs team, Dante Hall is the next receiver up, and he was not able to hang on to the pass from Mahomes. On their very last attempt, Mahomes throws a perfect pass to Dante Hall, who comes down with it and scores their second touchdown. Brady and the all-time Patriots are up next, and on their very first attempt, Brady was able to connect with Randy Moss, who somehow fights his way into the end zone for their first touchdown. On their next attempt, Moss was able to beat Thomas and catch a pass in the end zone for yet another touchdown. Julian Edelman is up next, and all they need is just one touchdown to win this challenge, where on his first attempt, Brady surprisingly overthrows him. Hoping to rebound their next attempt, Brady tries to throw one over Thomas' head, but he was able to swat it away. Les Welker just needs one touchdown to win this game, and on his first attempt, he was able to make the catch and hang on to it through all that contact. All-time Patriots team end up winning this challenge and they now have two challenge wins while the all-time Chiefs team only has one. The Patriots just need to win one more challenge and they'll be crowned the greatest dynasty according to Madden. The next challenge is a head-to-head -head matchup where we have Tom Brady leading the team of all-time Patriots going up against Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the all-time Chiefs. I decided to give the Patriots home field advantage since they have more Super Bowl wins the Chiefs start with the ball, and Mahomes was able to hand it off to Priest Holmes for a short pickup. A few plays later, Mahomes is faced with a second and 11, but was able to find a streaking Tyreek Hill over the middle for a huge pickup. And on the very next play, Mahomes steps back and throws an absolute beam to Tony Gonzalez for the first touchdown of the game. It's now time to see if Tom Brady can answer, and on second down, connect with Randy Moss for a 9-yard game. He was then able to find Wes Welker for the first before handing it off to Corey Dillon who picks up a monster game. Ace with a third and goal, Brady elects to hand it off to Corey Dillon who punches it in and ties this one up. After the all-time Chiefs sell for a field goal on their next possession, Brady and his Patriots fail to convert on third down, giving Mahomes the ball right back. But unfortunately for Chiefs fans, Mahomes throws an interception to Teddy Bruschi. Brady makes him pay by finding fullback James Devlin in the end zone to take a four-point lead. Late in the first half, Mahomes tried to connect with his receiver in the end zone, but Rodney Harrison was able to knock it away. But on third and two, Mahomes finds Tyreek Hill to retake the lead. All-time Patriots trail by three points, but Brady is working his offense down the field. On third down, Brady was chased down by Jared Allen, picks up his first sack of the game. All-time Patriots end up tying the game with this adversary field goal. As the time continues to tick, Mahomes relied heavily on Tyreek Hill to make some important catches. Big third and two, Mahomes steps back and overthrows his receiver. But for some reason, he elects to go for it on fourth and two. He steps back, and he connects with Travis Kelsey for a 20-yard touchdown. In the fourth quarter, Brady was doing everything he could to tie this game up, and on first and 10, he was able to connect with Wes Welker, who gets around one defender and scores a touchdown to tie this one up. At the two-minute warning, Mahomes was faced with third and 14, but he decided to hand it off for a short game. He decided to kick a field goal, and the kick is up, but it's no good! giving Brady two minutes to make something happen. First to Gronk for a short pickup, and then he goes right back to Gronk to get them into field goal range. A couple run plays later, the all-time Patriots can win this with a field goal. The kick is up, and Adam Vinatieri makes it look so easy, giving the all-time Patriots the lead with just seven seconds to go. One Hail Mary left, and throws it up, but it gets swatted away. The all-time Patriots end up winning this head-to-head -head matchup, and just like that, they have won three challenges, crowning them the NFL's best dynasty according to Madden. And if you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this one. I would definitely go check it out.
Banger.